What's the deal, y'all? We here with the guy himself, Mike Farrell. He might be one of like the hardest ball working, man. Swift promotions. What's good, man? The time is here, man. The time is here, man. We're ready. We're ready. So, June, June 15th. I'm yep. sorry. I'm thinking of the last card. June 15th. <laughs> yep. Boardwalk Hall, man. What can the fans expect, man? Man, the fans can expect excitement from the top to bottom. I mean, when you look at the card, the cards just feel like I said before. The card is filled with dogs. You're going to come in and you don't know what's going to happen. It's literally going to be a coin flip. So come out and see the excitement. From the time the bell rings to the time the bell ends. It's going to be non-stop action. There's no easy fights. Everybody's going in there, and they're going to do exactly what this is, grind. Just like Taylor Garcia, part one. Now, I got to ask, because I should have asked this first. What is your relationship with Swift Promotion? So I'm the president of Swift Promotion. Uh, obviously, it's uh, Danny Garcia's company. So we're running it. We're going to make sure that we have events going all throughout Jersey, Pennsylvania. And we're going to see where it's going to go from there. Hopefully, we're going to expand. And our team has been doing a great job. So hopefully, they keep doing it. Now, I know it's a new promotion. You guys just started, but I know you've been working extremely hard. Um, you've been doing a lot of interviews. And you you all really been pushing it. How long can we expect Swift Promotions to be around? Forever. Forever. This ain't over. This is just a start. We're here to make a mark. We're going to do one fight at a time. So our whole plan and our whole goal is longevity. We're not looking to come in, be a fly-by-night, a couple of days, a couple of nights, a couple of events. We're going to be here for a long time coming. We're looking to build a legacy. Same way Danny built a legacy in the ring, we want to build one outside. Of so that's what we're going to look to do. Now, can the fans expect Danny Garcia to be on one of his promotional cards in the near future? You know, it's funny. We asked that question earlier. My answer to that is only time will tell. You know, I can't answer Danny, that question for Danny. That's something that he can. What we want to focus on is make sure that we give a platform that all the boxers can get the right outlook and people can see them, know who they are, and they get that right reach to the people. Will that be Danny fighting on a card? Who knows? But the only way you can tell is by keep paying attention and keep showing up to the fights. June 15. Tell us some exciting fights on there that the fans shouldn't miss. Man, where to start? We got obviously the main event in Sunny Conto. We got him versus Quentin something. We have Dion Buck, who's 17 and 2. You got Miguel Roman, who's undefeated, going against a guy who's undefeated. You have Johnny DeFrancis Rivera, number one amateur in the world, 1 0, looking to go 2 0, fighting against a guy who has a good amateur background and is also 1 0. So those are two dogs going to go at it. Uh, you have Jason Moreno uh, fighting a kid who had a good amateur background. Jason's 1 0. Jason fights for Team Combat League. I mean, the card is stacked. Tyler Black Mamba Williams. Tyler's 8 0. I mean, we have Stanley Johnson. Stanley Johnson coming out of Texas. You got, you know, guys in Texas, you can't get there. You can definitely stream it on boxing TV. So it's going to be available for everybody. Mm. Bro, um, thanks for having you on here, man. We appreciate the time. We can't wait to see what the future's hold. No problem. Thank you.